He would give anybody the shirt off of his back. He was always there to help everybody. He loved being around kids. He was a big kid himself. Jessica Shoemaker sits just down the street from where investigators say Jimmy Shoemaker was shot and killed Thursday afternoon. She says they separated in the fall after being together for years. He was a second dad to her three children. Out of all things, I never thought Jimmy would go out like that. The Bureau of Criminal Investigation says it's investigating a double homicide in Manchester. They say two people were found dead in a home on 6th Street on Thursday afternoon. Family says Jimmy was one of those victims. A third shooting victim is in the hospital in serious condition. Jimmy's friend, Terry Nunley, says he was on scene shortly after it happened. I don't know, it just shocked me, had me shocked, and had me tore up. He lived next door to Jimmy, and their kids were friends. If you could say anything to Jimmy right now, what would you say to him? Jimmy, I, uh, I really appreciate the way you hang, hanged out with my kids and the way that you uh, could get rides at the golf cart. But I really just love, love the way you was, bud. Jessica says this isn't like the town she grew up in. This whole town used to be about helping everybody. And hearing this stuff happen, and it's like, we're, nobody's safe anymore. A lot of people in this small Manchester community are talking about what happened. I talked with his mom, who didn't want to go on camera, but she wishes the rumors would stop. She says no matter what happened, nobody deserves to go through what her son and those two others did. Reporting in Manchester, I'm Chelsea Sick. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.